Hey guys, Peter here from AB McDonald Elementary. This is our math packet for May 13th from Mrs. Gomez. If you have this packet, keep on watching and follow along with me. Please remember to write your names at the top of the page. Read each problem. Trace the lines below the picture as you skip count. Multiply the problem. Rewrite the answer on the lines. Work the puzzler. Number one, there are four boxes. There are four balls in each box. Touch the dots and count by four. What is the total number of balls? One, two, three, four. Four balls in each box. Four, eight, 12, 16. There are 16 balls. Another way to look at this is to count four. One, two, three, four boxes times four balls. Four times four equals 16. Pause the video here and finish the rest of the page at your own pace at home. Please remember to write your names. Subtract the numbers in the ones column. If you cannot count backward on all of the touch points, regroup by borrowing 110 from the tens column. Then touch and count backward from the new numbers in the ones column. Repeat the steps for the tens column, then subtract the hundreds column. Number one, five, 735 minus 486. Starting with five, we'll start counting backwards on six. Five, four, three, two, one. Still have a few more to go, so we're going to have to borrow. Cross out our three, turning it into a two, and turning our five into 15. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. 15 minus 6 gives us 9. 2 minus 8, 2. One, that was quick. We're gonna have to borrow on that one too. Cross out our seven, which gives us six in our hundreds and turns our tens into 12. 12 minus eight, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. 12 minus eight equals four. Six minus four, six, five, four, three, two. Six minus four equals two. 735 minus 486 equals 249. You can pause the video here and finish the rest of the page at your own pace at home. Write your names. Addition, regrouping. Step one, first add the ones Regroup the 10. For our example problem, 567 plus 686, 7 plus 6 equals 13. We put our 3 into our 1's place, but we regroup our 10's place, regroup the 10 up here. Step 2. Then add the 10's, regroup the 100. Add 6 plus 8, which equals 14, and we add our 1 from step 1 to get 15. The 5 goes in the 10's place, and our one from 15 moves up to the hundreds place. Step three, then add the hundreds, regroup the thousand. Five plus six is 11, plus another one is 12. The one from the hundreds place moves to the thousands place. Step four, finally add the thousands. One plus zero is one. 567 plus 686, equals 1,253. Let's try an example on our own. Number one, 528 plus 786. Eight plus six is 14. Put our four in our ones place and move our 10 to our tens place. Two plus eight is 10 plus one is 11. Move our one in our tens place and another, our other one into our hundreds place. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus an additional 1, making it 13. The 
with another one in our thousands place with nothing to add to that, our answer becomes 1,314. You can pause the video here and finish the page at your own pace at home. Pretend you have one nickel in your pocket. How many more nickels would you need to buy each item? Let's start with this one. So by this screw, which costs 10 cents, we would need how many more nickels? We have five cents, which is how much one nickel is worth. To get from five to 10, we would need one more five. Five plus five equals 10. We would need one more nickel to give us five more cents. Pause the video here and finish the page at your own pace at home. Tara showed 30 cents two ways. Circle the way that uses the fewest coins. Between A or B, which one uses the fewest coins? B uses only two coins, though they both equal 30 cents. Two dimes and two nickels equals 30, and a quarter and one nickel also equals 30. What coins from A were changed for one coin in B? What's different? We have a nickel and a nickel, so these two remain the same. Is there another nickel in B? No. Is there any dimes in B? No and no. So the coins that changed are one nickel and two dimes. You can pause the video here, finish the rest of the page at your own pace at home. Show 66 cents two ways. Use the fewest possible coins on the right below. To show 66 cents, we could show with one, two, three, four, five, six dimes, each worth 10 cents, and one, two, three, four, five, six pennies, each worth one cent. This would equal 60. This would equal six, 60 plus six, 66. To show it in the fewest possible coins, we could use a quarter, another quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. Forgive my drawing skills are a little wonky there. Two quarters, bringing us to 50 cents, plus a dime, brings us to 60 cents. Here, let me write that more clearly. 50 plus 10 equals 60, plus a nickel is five equals 65, plus a penny equals 66. That's the fewest possible coins we could use to get 66 cents. Pause the video here and finish the rest of the page at your own pace at home. Let's see if we can get this whole page on here. So it might be a little tricky. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna leave the iPad alone and I will count just with, yeah, there we go. Let's count nickels to $1. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 
90, 95, 100. How many nickels was that? That was 20 nickels. Write that at the bottom for you guys. 20 nickels. Let's not do cursive. Last page. Counting quarters. The directions are on the bottom of this one. Look at the number before each row of quarters. Color that number of quarters. Do it really quick for you guys. There are four here. So we'll color four quarters. You can color it anything, any color you want and go into more detail if you like. I'm just trying to do it quick for you guys to show you. We have one left over and that's okay because we're only coloring four quarters. This one you'll cover color two, five, one, three, and nine on the bottom. Pause the video here and you can finish it the page at your own pace at home. Please remember to write your names at the top of your paper. Buying with pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Look at the price tag on each item. Color the number of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters needed to buy the item. A 32 cent skateboard. It must be a really small skateboard or something. That's really cheap for a skateboard. Okay, we've got a quarter, three pennies, and one nickel. So let's see, we'll color the quarter. That's a good head start, gives us to 25 cents. Then next we'll color the nickel, that's the next biggest thing. So five more cents, so 25 plus five. Give you a second to guess, to tell me how many cents that is. 30 cents, so we're at 30 cents. We need two more cents, so we're gonna color one penny, we're at 31, and color our second penny. And we're at 32 cents, so we don't even need to color this one. We don't wanna pay 33 cents, it only costs 32. Let's save our penny. All right, excellent work, you guys. Pause the video here and keep on going at your own pace at home. All right, write your names at the top of your paper, please. Buying with quarters. A quarter is worth 25 cents. One quarter equals 25 cents. Count by 25s. 25, 50, 75, 100. Every four quarters equals one dollar. You can write it with your words, one dollar, or you can write it just with a dollar sign and a number one and some zeros after a decimal. Look at the price tag on each item. Color the number of quarters needed to buy the item. So for a 75 cent basketball, how many quarters will we need? Color one, that's 25. Quarter number two is 50. Quarter number three is, you guessed it, 75. So we can save our fourth quarter and we get a basketball. All right. Pause the video here and keep on going at your own pace at home. Counting quarters. Look at the number before each row of quarters. Color that number of quarters. Let's, I'll do this one real quick. Two, we're gonna color, oh, almost forgot. Write our names, all right. One quarter, two quarters. There you go, and bonus points if you can tell me how many that is. All right, pause the video here. Keep on going at your own pace at home. Remember to write your name. Skip count by three up to the dividend, making a tally mark in the box as you say each number. Count the tally marks and write the answer. Then say the problem and answer quietly. Let's use this number guide help us with our skip counting. Zero divided by three. How many times can we count by three to get to the zero? Three, well then, we're already past zero. So it looks like three goes into zero, zero times. Can't really divide by zero very well. Or sorry, you can't use zero or 
Let's just say zero goes in zero times. Three into three. How many times do we skip count by three to get to three? Three, there's one, and that's it. So three goes into three one time. How about six? Three, three, six, three, six. Three goes into six two times. All right. Pause the video here and keep on going at your own pace at home. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching.